My name is Sarah Willoughby. I'm the author of the book He's Making Diamonds, A Teen's Thoughts on Faith Through Chronic Illness, as well as the host of the Diamonds Conference, which is a free online conference for chronically ill Christians. We had our recent, most recent event very recently in Ju uh, June 5th. It was about marriage and health challenges. And if you missed that, you want to make sure to grab the All Access Pass, which is available at my website. <clears throat> this channel, however, is not about marriage. I'm not very qualified for that. Um, we had lots of other qualified people presenting at the conference, but this channel is about writing when you have a chronic illness because chronic illness is hard and writing is hard. And when you combine the two, it can seem impossible, but I'm proof that it's not. So today I want to talk about the importance of your voice as a chronically ill writer. <clears throat> Before I got sick, I didn't know what a chronic illness was. I didn't know that that was something that existed. I didn't know that it affected people or a lot of people or especially young people. I didn't know what it meant. I, and it took me a long time, even after I became chronically ill, to identify myself as someone who had a chronic illness. Then I did get sick and I thought I was the only one. I thought I'm the only teenager with a chronic illness. I'm like this rarity, there's not a lot of us. I didn't know that there are millions. Um, I think the statistic is something like 90 million Americans that have a chronic illness or health challenges like that are long-term. That's mind blowing. Why don't we hear about it? Why is it not talked about? Why are we so surprised by it? And I wasn't the only one who didn't know anything about it. My family and my friends and my community had no idea what a chronic illness was, how it would affect me, how it would affect them, um, or, or what, it, what it did, what that meant. So <clears throat> as people who, as writers, our experiences, whether we want them to or not, our experiences influence our writing. Our experience, even if you're writing about some some crazy fantasy thing. You're still writing about characters. You're still writing about a plot and a story. And so it's, um, uh, sorry, <laughs> it's, as I said, chronically also brain fog, but you're still writing about a story. And so that's still drawing from your experience, from your story, from the people that you know. When you have a chronic illness, whether you want it to or not, your illness is going to inform your writing. It's going to change the way that you see the world, which means it's going to change the way that you write the world, whether that's this world or some fantasy world or some dystopian world or um, some historical world. It's going to inform the way that you write it. And I want to encourage you that that's not a bad thing. Your, your voice as someone who has experienced long-term physical suffering and mental suffering and, and pain is really powerful because there are a lot of people like you who are going, oh, I'm the only one. No one gets this. No one knows what it's like. And that's so not true. For me, I've written a book about chronic illness. That's pretty clear. I've used my voice as a writer to write pretty not like pretty cut and dry about chronic illness. I've clearly written my story and the stories of a lot of people that I've shared uh, or that I've met and, and that have shared it with me. Um, but that doesn't mean that you have to write that. So this is one option for embracing your voice as a chronically ill writer. But no matter what you write, no matter what genre you write, your voice um, is, is impacted by that. I was talking to one of my writing mentees recently um, and she was, you know, she's writing this fiction, this, this historical fiction book about a girl. Um, and this was, uh, and the, her story, it's beautiful and it's about the relationships and the growth of this character, but her, but illness in, is in that story. It's woven in it, um, in the compassion that she writes in, in the empathy that she writes in, in the understanding that she writes in, and, and even things in things that are not necessarily recognized as a chronic illness or a mental illness in her book by the characters. As a reader and as someone who's experienced it myself and someone who knows her and knows that she's experienced it, I've gotten to see that play out. And it's beautiful. I've gotten to, you know, I'm supposed to be helping like mentor her in her writing but instead I will sit there and I will read it and I will cry because finally I feel seen and I feel understood and I'm getting to see the truth um, about my situation through this character's story through their life so I really want to encourage you 
when you have a chronic illness to allow that to impact you, to allow that to make you personally, as a person, into a diamond, which will make your writing into a diamond. It, it'll give your writing compassion. It will give your writing empathy. It will give your writing understanding for humans and how humanity works and how humanity functions and how relationships are. Before I got sick, I thought that um, I, I had a different view of the world. It was very black and white. But since I've gotten sick, I'm realizing it's not, there are black and white, but it's not all black and white. There's a lot of gray areas. There's a lot of stuff in there. So being able to um, write from that perspective of experience and compassion has been something that has enabled me, enabled, has made my writing something God can use. And God can use it whether you've had a chronic illness or not. We all have our own things. The chronic illness is a unique experience and it's something that I, I think that we really should embrace as writers. Whether we write nonfiction or fiction, whatever genre it is, it's something that can be a gift to our writing. And I don't want you to discount your chronically ill voice. Sometimes it can feel like your chronic illness means that you have a harsher view of the world or like you aren't able to write as beautifully as you might think that someone with fully functioning you know, capabilities could, but that's not true. So don't discount your voice because it's chronically ill. Instead, that adds something to your writing and to you as a person. So with that said, I will see you soon. Um, I'm excited to dive more into this topic. This is something I'm very passionate about. But comment down below, how has your life, what experiences in your life have commented your writing or have, have affected your writing? Comment that down below and like and subscribe. See you soon.